I got a wild theory on how Drake's new diss track could be a Trojan horse to making AI music more acceptable mainstream. But you really got to follow me down the rabbit hole to get there. My first thought is, how are they even able to use Snoop and Pac's likeness? Because we know we can't even post a video with a song playing in the background. To get an answer to that, we got to explore Drake's business relationships. That leads us to Larry Jackson, who's the former creative director for Apple, who's now the CEO of Gamma, the biggest entertainment and music conglomerate that we've seen thus far. I say that because they're partnered with Ike Yosef, formerly of UMG Universal, which is the parent company of all these record labels. They're funded by Eldritch, who owns all these entertainment and media platforms. So Gamma has those partners. Also, Larry Jackson, with his tech and entertainment connects, silently working with the biggest artists in the industry to frontline their agendas. That's like a triple-headed monster to make sure your artists succeed. So who are their artists? Snoop Dogg is one of them. Snoop Dogg acquired Death Row Records. So Drake's relationship with Gamma could be the reason that he's able to use an AI version of Snoop and Pac and this be Snoop's only response. Snoop just kind of acts confused. He flashes his Death Row jacket and you can kind of assume that he doesn't have a real problem with his likeness being used. Drake's ability to use AI to troll and debate Kendrick with his idols is pretty creative. But Drake is playing chess because if he wins this battle, this completely changes how we look at AI music. This is the biggest battle with the biggest artists in the world, and the underlying thing through it all has been AI, and I don't think that's by coincidence. Let's follow the timeline. Immediately after the like that dropped, I think about two days later, it was an AI Drake disc. A couple weeks later, an unfinished version of Push Up comes out, and we all assumed that was AI. Drake claimed it, but he wasn't really defensive about his work not being AI. A couple days later, a Kendrick this song drops, and that's AI. It's really been more AI speculation than actually rapping. The guy who claimed the Kendrick Lamar AI diss track was the same guy who made the Kanye West AI diss track. Most of the usage of this AI strategies is in favor of Drake, including his last diss song, so it's likely it's all coming from his camp. Now, Drake being a proponent of AI works in favor of his corporate interests. We already know the music industry wants to introduce the idea of an AI rapper because they rolled it out a couple years ago. If y'all remember, FM Mecca, he fell miserably because he was just a stereotype. Imagine how a win here and Drake's influence can change how we look at AI music. AI contributing to a W here can change the way we perceive AI music. Sort of the way Kanye using auto-tune changed the complete landscape of music since 808s and Heartbreaks. Another reason why I think that's where the industry wants to go is because we're already potentially listening to an AI artist for Bats. Bats is signed to OVO for an EP deal. Larry Jackson confirmed that's his artist on a phone call with Joe Budden. Larry Jackson owns Gamma. Gamma is funded by Eldridge. Eldridge owns Billboard, so you can see how artists who only have four songs could blow up like this. Do y'all kind of see how the dots are starting to line up and the common theme of AI could be in corporate interests in the music industry that could benefit Drake and his partners at Gamma? Drake is playing 3D chess, and the battle between him and Kendrick right now is checkers. And with Kendrick taking so long to respond, right now he's winning that too. With Drake being directly signed and partners with Universal that owns Interscope, it gives more insight to that bar. Like that label boy, you Interscope right now. At first, I thought it was weak, but with this coming to light, it's making more sense. This got so deep, I didn't even get to get into how I feel about the song. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about Drake trying to usher AI into the music scene.